Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Beg. Today we will be talking about Xylocard versus Xylocaine versus Xylocaine with adrenaline. So during our clinical practice, we commonly encounter these drugs. So always there is a confusion. So what is the difference between Xylocard and Xylocaine? So let's go it about it in detail. Actually, both Xylocard, Xylocaine and Xylocaine with adrenaline are there are there are different types of preparation of lignocaine. So lignocaine, if you uh, make in uh, various mixtures and make various mixtures, you get either xylocard or xylocaine or xylocaine with adrenaline. So they have different uses, different routes of drug administration, and there are different doses of them. Xylocard. Xylocard, first talking about xylocard. Xylocard is usually comes in preparation of 2% and it is usually a 50 ml vial. And it is only can be used only for single use. So like once you have opened this vial, you cannot use it again and again because there is no preservative added to xylocard. So this is the common uh, difference between xylocard and xylocaine is that in xylocard, there is no preservative. Whereas in xylocaine, you have a preservative named uh, methylparabin. So methylparabin is a preservative which is present in xylocaine. So thus, which makes xylocaine to be used again and again. You can use this xylocaine multiple times because of this methylparaben, whereas xylocard you cannot use it multiple times because as there is no methylparaben or preservative in it. Coming to xylocard, it's commonly used, is root of administration is intravenous and it contains lignocaine, sodium chloride and water, but there is no preservative, that is methylparaben is not present in this. So there is no preservative, so it is used only intravenous. Xylocard, the uses of xylocard is that xylocard is sometimes given before the propofol. So during general anesthesia, we commonly give a drug called propofol, which is very painful. So to prevent the pain from that, you give intravenous xylocard just before the propofol to prevent this pain. And most common use of xylocard we commonly use in our clinical practice is use is uses in ventricular tachycardia, but only ventricular tachycardia which has pulse. It is not used in pulses, uh, pulseless ventricular tachycardia. So pulse should be there with VT to use a xylocard. Contraindications of xylocard is that any patient with having, having a block in the heart, that is AV nodal block or any intraventricular block or Stokes Adams syndrome, these are contraindications for the usage of the xylocard. Next, coming to xylocaine. Xylocaine comes in the 2% or 4% population and it is commonly used as a local anesthetic. So, as we have already discussed, xylocaine contains a preservative called as methylparabin and thus it can be used multiple times. This drug cannot be given intravenously. It is usually given either subcutaneous or intramuscular route. It is basically the addition of thing, the only thing extra thing other than xylocard in uh, xylocaine is the presence of methylparabin. What is used? Methyl, uh, xylocaine is actually used as a local anesthetic basically to relieve the pain uh, in any particular part of the body. So it uses as a local anesthetic. The main purpose of, uh, of xylocaine is local anesthetic. The main purpose of xylocard was to use as in ventricular arrhythmias and to, to prevent pain before propofol. Another uh, combination which we commonly uh, come into clinical practice is xylocaine with adrenaline. This is actually a same thing as xylocaine that is it contains a preservative methylparabin. Along with that, there is presence of adrenaline in it. Why do you use adrenaline? Is that adrenaline has a vasoconstrictive property, thus it prolongs the effect of the drug. It is usually used in nerves blocks. So whenever we do a nerve block, we use uh, xylocard with xylocaine with adrenaline in this case. However, you should remember that uh, this xylocaine with adrenaline should not be used in end organs like finger or nose strip. Why you shouldn't use is that it causes vasoconstriction and thus it may lead to gangrene of this finger and the nose strip. So you shouldn't use in peripheral organs or end organs. So in summary, xylocard is a drug which is given through intravascular, intravascular, whereas xylocaine should not be given intravascularly, intravenously. Xylocard is single use because there is no preservative. It is only single time use. Xylocaine and xylocaine with adrenaline, you can use multiple times because of the presence of methylparabin. Xylocard can be used in place of xylocaine. So you can use xylocard as a local anesthetic but you cannot use xylocaine in place of xylocard. So vice versa, it cannot be used. So xylocard can be used in place of xylocaine, but xylocaine cannot be used as xylocard. Hope you have uh, understand this uh, video. And if you have any doubts, do comment in my comment box. And if you like my video, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Big, for more interesting videos. Thank you.